Hey, welcome back to the channel today, another painting session, and the pattern today is gonna to be the killer crawl. We're gonna do that on a couple wiggle warts. I think this is one you're gonna to wanna to check out if you're in cold area and stained water. So uh, we're also gonna be throwing down some uh, 3D uh, printed stencils. So uh, if that's something new to you and you'd like to see how that's done, come check out this video. started with the uh, killer crawl we've got our lure base coated as you can see um, and again we're going to be working with the uh, wiggle wart today uh, we've done several videos this is a great great fishing lure uh, these in particular predator bass bait blanks uh, with the lead balls and these are the rattling version so uh, we're going to be using our 3d print printed stencils here uh, these came out of Australia. I'll leave a link in the description below to where they got, I don't think uh, Jonas makes these, uh, this in particular pattern any longer, but uh, I'm sure you could contact him and get that if he's interested. Uh, and you know, you don't have to, but I always put a couple of these on it just to kind of hold it good and tight. So this is a, uh, you gotta use this one in two part. Uh, we're first gonna come in, we're gonna lay our black down. And uh, on these particular stencils, just like any stencil, you wanna, you're gonna get your shading on the outside. Uh, you can see where I've sprayed uh, previous ones and, and get your overspray out here onto the bait, to create that shadowing effect. So, um, let's see, we need to, Turn pressure down a little bit. There's 20 PSI working. And I'm just gonna start here at the top. So we're just gonna, uh, gonna let that dry a little bit. We're gonna, and we've got the other bait. We're gonna go ahead and put the, this is just how I do it to save time so I can do two at a time. You know, these things were fairly expensive stencils. Uh, I can't remember, seems like they were around $60. I've had it a long time. Uh, it's similar to my zombie pattern that I use, so um, I like it. Kind of like to have him make me one of the others but anyway we're going to go ahead and do this bait uh with the second half and then we'll just switch the two up and continue right along so again just starting at the tip looking for our overspray onto the bait following the contours splatter on that one but it's all good i want the shading um, out there just don't want too much so and we just remove the two halves you can kind of see what it leaves there
So I'll give you a little look here at what we're getting. With the crawl pattern on the back, and we're gonna go to adding our about body colors. Uh, the killer crawl is a uh, is a real good crawl pattern for uh, stained water, as I said in the intro to the video. Um, this one's going to be fished uh, in Beaver Creek. We're gonna now go over our most of our bait with the fluorescent yellow color. You gotta watch these fluorescents. They're pretty thin colors and... Now I'm not really worried about getting the top of the bait too much at this point. Um, it's gonna take several layers to get this to the bright fluorescent that I'm looking for on this pattern, so. My stenciling didn't really come out too good on this one, to be honest with you, but it serve its purpose, so. We're gonna heat set. Got to get it brighter. And you can see I missed a couple spots on the stencil there. I didn't, hadn't used this stencil in a while. Didn't do a very good job with it. Probably have to make a few more of these, but I'll show you how we'll touch that up at the end. But again, we're looking for a real bright belly. And just a little up those sides. Okay, so now we're gonna come back and lay our green pumpkin color in. And on this one, I'm gonna use two hands, kind of support myself and try to put this in pretty close to exactly where I want it. And I'm just following those contours. And I want it a little darker on the back and leave some spots so it's just not super uniform. Get that back edge. Leave a little of a yellow. All over the top. We're gonna go real dark right down the back. And get around the eyes, the nose. Put that deep green pumpkin. So as I establish that dark edge, then I draw my airbrush back and fade in the rest of it so I get a little bit. We'll fix that. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to hit this other one off camera and we'll come back and I'll show you the uh, couple other steps that really make this color really pop. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, again, and I'll give you a close-up of this, HS46 Creatures Features uh, Modeled Micro. Okay, this is coming that set from Anarchy Models. 
Again, it's out of the UK, so it uh, takes a little while to get here, but it's a, it's a cool little pattern, adds a lot of detail to your lure. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that uh, at the front of this large gill plate with our green pumpkin color, and it's real subtle, um, but that's why I kind of left that spot right in there fairly light. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do on this uh, particular pattern is we've got to add the splatter to the bait. And uh, so I'm gonna re remove my nozzle cap on our fluorescent yellow and turn our pressure way down. And we're gonna add a little bit of that to the back of this. as well as our black. And the black splatters you need your paint fairly thin. And apparently I've got mine just a little thick. It's not coming out as well as I'd like, but not a big issue it just makes this process a little slower all right so a couple final touches this is a crawl pattern so i most generally just color the eyes black Hit that. Kind of air dried a little bit. We got to flip our handles over, and we're gonna put some lines on the belly. I used to do that right down there, and we'll adjust her camera, connect those two segments, have a little fade toward the back. I may clean up just a little bit on the stenciling on that one for sure. This one looks okay. I could have came on up a little farther there, but so pretty, it's pretty good. That needs reshot just a little bit, so we'll clean that up just a little bit. Add a little more detail to right. Shading on it. it. Hit its eyes and basically this uh, particular customer's order's done. Now I'm gonna hit that clear coat and that's really gonna stand out. So uh, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, this week's video, Killer Crawl, uh, it's deadly, deadly in slightly stained water, three foot of visibility, or excuse me, <laughs> well less than three foot of visibility. Uh, this particular order is going to be fished a lot on uh, Beaver Lake in Arkansas, and uh, he tells me that it is dynamite on that lake. So, and it's got some clear water and stained water, but anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll leave a link in the description below to where I got 
uh, my 3D printed stencils. Again, I'm not sure that he carries this particular stencil set any longer, uh, but he has several cedar run outdoors, has some 3D uh, printed stencils. So uh, if you're looking to get into some of those, I'll leave a link in the description below to, to a few of those that I know of. So, uh, but anyway, until uh, next week,